was a beautiful blue sky day down at the Scamander River in the late summer of 2019. White sand, clear waters, people out enjoying a peaceful Sunday afternoon by the river. Surprisingly, a total of eight bridges have been built here since 1865. All bar two were destroyed by a series of catastrophic events. Overloading of cattle, flood debris, and another threat, one far more silent yet just as deadly. But what could that have been? Herb's image was taken sometime after 1911, and it was the fourth bridge over the Scamander River. Constructed of wood, it was doomed right from the start. Twelve months later, it too would fall. Not to the pressure of flood, but to critical damage caused by an infestation of voracious woodworms. The notorious Torito borer, or shipworm to be exact. Severely weakened by the worms, the timber pile simply gave way and the bridge came crashing down. Here in Herb's second photo, we see the subsided bridge being dismantled. Two subsequent bridges met similar fates. Technology finally came to the rescue in 1936. Bridge number seven was built with concrete piles and steel trusses. This bridge was still in use when the Tasmania Revisited authors took their image at Scamander in 1986. It was a hot, windy day when I pulled up at the north embankment of the Scamander River. I had a clear view. It would be easy to set up my tripod on the same spot where Herb had taken his image. Well, I've just driven down the road away from St Helens and arrived at Scamander. In Herb's original image, you will see an old wooden bridge spanning this particular part of the river. That bridge obviously is long gone. And in fact, the bridge you see behind me is now known as the old Scamander Bridge. But then off across in the distance, you'll see the brand new Scamander Bridge. So you can have all the romantic notions about keeping what's old. In some cases, that's a good idea, but in other cases, pure functionality, things have to be moved on. In this case, is a classic example. Using the old reference image as a guide, I took my shot. A comparison of the two images confirms the history. Let's take a closer look. The borer-prone wooden piles are gone. We now have reinforced concrete piles. Solid steel trusses now give the bridge strength under the pressure of heavy load or flood. Discarded and damaged wooden piles litter the riverbank. Any good timbers had already been salvaged. Today, we now picnic on this grassy embankment and enjoy the river views. Logs and other debris are beginning to build up on the far river bank. This hazard was responsible for the demise of at least three of the bridges. Today, the river bank has been reinforced and is mostly free of debris. The causeway enabled an alternative river crossing by punt whilst the next bridge was being rebuilt. Today, remains of the causeway are easily visible from the air. Slightly closer to the sea, the current Scamander Bridge was opened in 1999. This modern bridge now carries the increased volume of traffic on the busy Tasman Highway. On the far side of the river, the Ocean Beach Hotel offered guests sweeping seaside views. The old hotel was demolished in the 1960s, with the current Scamander Beach Motel opening on the same site in 1966. I walked on down the embankment to check out the riverbank. Looking underneath the old steel bridge, I did spot a large piece of rusty metal. I had the romantic notion that this might be a relic from one of the six previous wooden bridges. But other than the traffic rumbling on the new bridge above, 
and the fishermen and children on the old steel bridge. There was nothing to see here, just the ghosts of six wooden bridges that once spanned the Scamander River. <laughs>